Welcome back to another StarCast TV and I'm Scan. Today we're going to cast the wonderful game between Rush vs Action, Action vs Rush, and Spawning Location. In the top right corner, the brown Terran. This is Rush. The other side of the player, spawning location in the top left, the yellow Zerg. This is Action. And we are going to see a Zerg vs Terra matchup on Holy Poid. You can see both of the players seem like they are gonna play standard. We can see the Obelisk Scout going towards to 7 o'clock. And we can see Action is making a second overlord. So we may assume this is not going to be a 9 pull. And not an proxy 8 Rex by Rush. Let's see how they will play. So far, both of the players are playing safe and standard. Second overlord just came out. Two more drones being made. Barracks will be putting down as soon as Supply Depot finishes. Can assume. Oh, interesting hop key, okay. So we can see uh, Rush is gonna play standard Rex expand most likely. We don't see Refinery going up. It's gonna be doing 12 scale. And actually we'll be doing 12 hatchery into drone scout as well and he also made an extra drone interesting so whenever uh, zerg is making an extra drone we can assume this is not going to be two hatch muta whenever you're going for two hatch muta you always want to speed up going for the spawning pool and the extractor at the same time really really fast so you can start the lair however he made a lot of drones in the beginning he wants to be rich Having all this economic boost in the beginning, we may assume this is going to be a 3 hatch opener. No extractor so far by action. Rex expand most likely. This 2 marine has been made. Second depot as well. We may assume Rush will be putting down the command center soon. Yeah, he'll be checking. Okay, there's an overlord. He knows there's an overlord. Command center should be starting soon. So this is a, a little bit of a blind play by Rush. He knows none of the Zerglings were coming, but he's kind of guessing, going for 19, 19 command center. Making more marine, he's gonna build a uh, third depot. Yes he will, he'll be building a third depot. And SCV is trying to go for the scout and will he be able to go in? He is trying his best to see how much of an action, uh, he, how much of an action is drawn he has right now. But the single drone is holding a ramp and Rush's SCV is already lowered, uh, having a low HP of SCV, 30 HP remaining. Gotta be careful. And he won't be able to figure out this is whether 3 hatch or 2 hatch. And we see Rush is playing a little bit of uh, aggressive here. He's gonna be having all those marines standing forward. I guess he will go for the attack here. He knows not much of a Zerglings has been made or is he just gonna be baiting yet? He wants to bait. He knows there's gonna be 4 Zergling so that this is going to be 4 versus 4 and whenever it's 4 versus 4 plus a CV it is definitely a Terran victory but there's been a nice drone surrounding the Marine and additional Zergling just came out on time. Perfect timing. So now Rush is trying to sacrifice this Marine to get an extra drone but he won't be. Eight, eight, uh, 7 HP remaining. Nice pull, nice pull by action. He didn't lose a single drone. And he ate all of the uh, Rush's Marine. So now this 2-Rex Academy is not going to be that powerful. But we see Rush has a lot of uh, SCP production on the way. Very good, very good. But he still does not know whether this is going to be 2-Hatch or 3-Hatch. But he's trying to be secure. Uh, if it was to hatch, the Zergling speed should be already done and trying to harass him already. So he wants to be playing safe over here. Steam pack on the way. And now the SCV will be going in as soon as the Zergling leaves. Nice timing and he sees the second extractor. 
And I don't know if he was able to see. Oh yeah, he got to see the cliff. He he was able to see the cliff. There, there's a creek colony spreading. He gets the vision of it. But now he will know this is not going to be two hatch meta. None of those. Uh, okay, he, uh, just, just action just got the metabolic boost. So with the seven marine with the two medic, I think should, additional should be two firebat. Yes, there is going to be two firebat. He's gonna go for the pressure and the scouting SCP is buying a lot of time and not letting rush. Uh, ac rush is buying a lot of time, not letting action to put the uh, free colony. Three, three zerglings are buying time from the behind. Steam pack is already complete. Just steam pack on the way. Try to focus target and the sunken sunken will finish and the zerglings going for the surrounding of these marine. Six, uh, five marine, four, three more. Two, two marine remaining. Gotta be dangerous. Oh, losing another marine right there. So this is not a good trade for Rush. Rush brought four fire bands, but he didn't earn anything. He didn't even get the sunken colony. He didn't afford. He wasn't able to force action to put more sunken colony as well. And these zerglings are still alive. If if all of the zerglings <coughs> got killed, it would have been a good trade. But now these. Four Zerglings is gonna be baiting Rush at the moment. Going for the trade here. Got a micro really really well. The medicals came out on time. Healing on time. Nicely. Nice micro action will also go pull back. Only a single Zergling just got killed and this at the same time. Going for the um, Fire Band Marine. Uh, doing the run by the Mutalus will just come out on time. Oh my god. What is Rush is doing? Rush just threw a lot of army in the beginning. He threw four marines in the beginning with a single SCV, second SCV, seven SCV scout as well, and another uh, steam pack rush with a seven marine, two medic, and a four fire bed. So that is a lot of cost that he has wasted. And then we can see Rush is already going up to the factory. And it's very nice factory timing. Missile turret should be finished on time. Gotta repair. Gotta repair the missile turret on time. Yes, he will. But at the same time. Action was not able to make Nightmare on time. I think because of the early harassment. Now slowly getting the number of Amiros ready. It's eight, nine, ten. He needs one more. Should be one extra Amira should be coming out. Or never mind, he I guess I thinks he made it. Oh there you go. Oh never mind, it's still a ten. Okay, yeah. Only ten Miralus. But action is going to be going for the late game here, the late game transition. The Lurker upgrade is on the way, Quinn's Nest as well at the same time. But still, no third has been taken. I guess action does not have enough money. Comes to the station, using the scan, confirming uh, what other tech and what action, is per what action is planning to do. He knows there's a lot of drone. Still no third expansion yet. These three Zerglings are buying well, a lot of time. And Rush is now going to go for... Heavy marine production over here. Medic gets picked off. Oh my god, Medic is so dumb. So Met he, uh, losing a single Medic right there is uh, so crucial. Uh, if the number of a Medic, the, the Medic count gets bigger and bigger, the Marine Ball becomes stronger and stronger because the healing is much faster and faster. But now these, uh, this army, uh, gotta be careful. One Marine. We'll get picked off again. Putting a bunker, nicely done. Ooh, picking up almost another Mutalisk. But now action is starting to mix some of uh, Zerglings as well, adding on a hatchery here. And now I think action really wants to eat this MM ball, but at the same time, Rosh will be uh, merging with the reinforcement. Nice attack here with the plus one attack. Going for the uh, sniping another uh, medic and losing a single Mira. He has nine Miralus, but a couple of Miralus have already on a low HP. This is not a good sign for Zerg, but he's gonna go for the surrounding or the backstab. Never mind, he wanted to go for the backstab, I suppose, but did not work. But at the same time, now Rush is all planning to switch over to C's tank timing. Three tank. With the single science vessel with the plus two. <gasps> he did forget to get a uh, armor upgrade. So he action. Uh, Rush totally forgot about making a uh, armor upgrade of this marine medic. So this is not a good sign. Finally. Oh, okay, never mind. He's getting plus two. 
He's getting plus two because he totally forgot about the armor one up armor one upgrade. So he's now gonna be using a couple of scans here and there, slowly pushing out. Sniping another Mira. Oh no, he won't be okay. He just scanned and now he knows there are a couple of workers are standing with a couple of middles, but he will just ignore and just move forward. Oh, quite a, oh, that was a really, really, really nice trade by action. Okay, I think uh, Lurker will go down. Trying to buy some time. Is Defiler ready? No, Defiler is not ready. Consumer play is on the way, but no Defiler. None of the Defilers has come out. They are Mutilus trying to do some of Micro, but that was a miss Micro, but also a miss Seed mode over here. So now he has to focus target on something. Losing a single Seed tank over here is a big, big mistake by Rush because he needs that tank to push this really fast. And now he's gonna be focused on the seas, uh, Lurker and then the Lurker will go down. Constantly removing the Sunken Colony. Nicely done. I guess he's just gonna go for the move here. Is he just gonna go for the bus? Yes, I think so. Yeah, he will. The father has come out, but he doesn't have Tencent upgrade, so he will be going for the attack here. Lurker, couple of the remaining Lurkers still alive. He's slowly moving forward. Taking a couple of drones and lurker as well. Oh, the consumer upgrade just now complete, and now you now using a dark storm. So rush is now uh, has to go back, but at the same time the counter drop. Oh, I totally missed this drop shit because uh, I'm bad at seeing the dark color. The brown color was so hard for me to see the dro uh, drop ship was coming from the 12 o'clock side, but that drop ship will be getting denied by the scourge and the mirrors couple and with a couple of dragons. But at the same time, look at this. Action is so beast at the moment. Having this night is kind of having already drone saturation. Seven drone mining at the seven o'clock already. So this is a very good news, and we can see. Uh, you can see Rush is not having the third command center. Oh, never mind, he has built the command center over here. One dark, one dark swarm with the deep, uh, one lurker. Just completely stopping Rush's army at the moment. Nice ready on the lurker. But at the moment, uh, currently, Action needs time to recover from the damage that he has been taken because Rush has pressured Action so much that he wasn't able to get any upgrade. Uh, Zerg is still stuck at a 0 0 upgrade. Double evolution chamber. Getting for 1 1 upgrade for the Zergery. But think about this. Rush's upgrade is insanely fast compared to. It's not, com it's not insanely fast that if you look at the game timer, but if you compare to your opponent, Karen's upgrade is really really fast. He has 0 0 upgrade, and actually, uh, Rush is gonna have plus 2 attack very very soon. And now the, all the all the fiber will be taken down, so now uh, Rush has to make a decision that he needs to pull back. Plus 2 has just now finished. He's just gonna immediately get this plus 3 attack on the way. I guess not. Ooh, these Zerglings will be just slowly clearing all of the sea tanks. And now another dropship just came out with the 3 firebat with the 5 marine inside. Rotating to the 12 o'clock side, okay. Interesting. You can see. Vessel oh, that had almost full energy, but there's gonna be dropping pot at the same time. The scourge, oh, the terrain, the terrain did not let rush to drop the unit, so now that is a little bit of a trouble. Now, action knows where the army is coming from, trying to bring this two lurker with a single defiler using dark swimmer on the high ground. I think, yeah, he's gonna be using the dark swimmer on the high ground, he'll be using dark swimmer twice. So Rush is really pressuring uh, action really really well here. Plus 3 just now started. Very nice uh, saturation but interesting about this SCV. I guess he's, he was a little desperate. He's already saturating this base before the command center and, and the refinery starts. Interesting. And we don't see not much of a science vessel remaining, but uh, one, once again, another attack by uh, Rush. One medic, one fire bat. Going to the 6 o'clock side, I think he has already scanned. Yeah, he scanned it. He scanned the 6 o'clock, so he knows he knows uh, action was taken in this expansion. Action is now slowly getting finished. This, uh, 
one one upgrade with the ultra's cavern so action will need to I think action is planning to switch to alert uh, ultra's but he does not have fourth expansion rush is completely uh, harassing and uh, pressuring action really really well here keep using irradiate here and there and now action is gonna be desperately need to make more of a defiler and then more lurkers and that will delay that will delay uh 2-2 two, two upgrade yeah 2-2 two, two upgrade starts but the no hair pace upgrade for the ultimate cavern that will take some time and now interesting how rush is making quite a lot of scv right now he's already having 66 worker that is quite a lot once again another pressure another pressure at the net is he gonna attack? Oh, the father will be using Darsmo on time. So this expansion will be secured. The vessel has not enough energy, I suppose. Let's check. Yeah, they don't have enough uh, energy, but this single lurker will go down. It was a little bit of out of placement. But these fire just doing tons of damage, but these marines are dying for free. That's not why Rush wanted, but more fire has come. I'm pretty sure there should be a one single fire. Yeah, there's a single, uh, not fire, but one single lurker. Pulling out of the dark swamp. Scourge will be connecting to Siren Sylvester. He focused hard on the Scourge while the Zerg was attacking the Marine. So nice save. And more fire bets has been made. And the main army is constantly pressuring at the 7 o'clock side and using Irradiate from the long distance. I think he wants to use the Irradiate. Okay, yeah, he'll be using the Irradiate on the Defiler. Not on Lurker. Going to the pressure once again with the fire bat. Fire bats are doing great damage, but this uh, yeah, the Lurker has been going uh, has gone down. The, these Hydralis became useless. They gotta make it into uh, Lurker Egg. But these fire bats are on fire, killing drone. Eight drone kills so far. So huge kill. Finally, the Ultralis just came out. One one upgrade. Uh, Scourge so disconnected the side, but so we'll go down. The main army at the 7 o'clock side, Rush is not really paying attention, but mm, I have a feeling this is going to be a really, really late game because we can see Action is defending really, really well. Look at this, he's pumping a lot of drone. He's, uh, he's just now transferring into his natural, saturating his fourth base. Then, as soon as Action starts to run in the fourth base, he will be. Oh, what are these science vessels doing? You'll be ready before you die. Oh no, okay, he will use the ready before it dies and I think that was a little bit of a mistake by Rush, but these lurker inside of uh, Dark Swarm is still buying so much of a time, so in by I should say. More firebirds are coming to the 7 o'clock side and he's using stem pack for some reason. Medics are a little bit of a out of position. It's a lot of army. You can see Firebat is gonna be 8 move and burning all those Lurker and Zergling at the same time. Uh, the Lurker is doing so much of a job. Firebats are still standing in the behind of the Marine. Oh, focus are targeting on the Lurker. Nicely done. Rush is just completely moving forward, but more Lurkers has come, more Zergling has come. I'm not sure if this is a good decision, but Firebats has a decent amount of upgrades to, to upgrade but the turn, uh, armor to upgrade as well for action but the dark swarm inside of the mar marines are inside of the dark swarm will be still taking down this uh, hatchery and now action is slowly losing his tempo he's losing his tempo look at this his drones are a little bit of afk at the main base natural is not completely saturated look at this action has been taking so much of the damage but we can see rush just literally waits almost 60 supply of this army he brought like five groups of army over here with the medic so that is definitely a lot of army that rush just now wasted he's trying to slowly uh switch into late game here adding armory so this is going to be a, a neo sk terran you may you may heard of a sk terran build right like so whenever you're doing sk terran against zerg that means you're pretty much doing the cloud vessel versus zerg and using bi a bio ball all the time but Neo SK Terran is uh, you're doing the Cloud Vessel plus the Mass Seas Tank at another spawning location. So this is what Rush is planning to do. Because uh, 3 and 5 expansion has, has uh, no, no army over here. These couple of Zerglings do thousands of damage at the same time because of 
Uh, DPS is really really fast, SCVs are getting killed really really fast over here. He had about 67 workers but now already in lower down to 51, this is not what Rush did. Oh, Rush was taking all damage over here at the same time, so I missed this here. The father and the lurker was attacking the mineral expansion, so action has been doing quite a lot of damage. Rush needs time to recover for now, but at the same time, action has finally saturated this base main base as well uh, 7 o'clock natural the fourth expansion will be slowly getting secured soon but more army is coming towards to the 5 o'clock side this 5 o'clock side is a little bit vulnerable does he have any unit oh yeah he has a unit inside of a bunker he has a lot of units inside of a bunker three, three million. and the vessel from the long distance using irradiate on time but oh not enough energy for the second defiler but second defiler does not have enough energy so this is going to be a little bit of waste so now action, uh, rush is going to be slowly securing this expansion but the irradi on an ultra this is just also doing the splash damage to the scv scv got some killed over here that's not what rush wanted but action is now so slowly securing the expansion and also taking more expansion Rush needs a little bit more of time to secure this 3 o'clock and a, a natural and these marine medics are a little bit of anger here over here for some reason. Well once again Defiler and Alerker with the Alerker deliver inside of the Dark Swarm. Does he have enough energy? Yeah he will have enough energy for the UID. That's good. Main army was attacking at the center against the Toa Ultralisk. More Defiler is coming. There's a lot of defiler. Look at how much of a defiler he made. I would like to see like the unit pro uh, unit tab, like how much of a he how much of our defiler he has. There's like one defiler over here at the center, one over here, one over here. Uh, more defiler. Literally, like defilers are pretty much everywhere. Like every time, like when he when he uh, when Rush moves to uh, every direction, there's always defiler standing. Action is so beast with the late game right now using the father everywhere. And now the 3 of our expansion. The 3 of our expansion is still have a nice mineral uh, remaining to mine. And the fight is getting denied. Uh, Rush really needs more worker, I suppose. Because 57 workers is still not enough to run this 8 barracks double star core with the factory over here at the 5 o'clock. But uh, once again, 2 defilers coming. And he has uh, one energy for the play. Nice plague on army, but he also used plague on the worker. Three of course expansion is now slowly getting secured. I guess the ultralist died that somewhere. A lot of battles going on here and there, and now plus three armor is going to be complete for a rush. Let me let me see. Uh, yeah, three 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 upgrade of a uh, actions upgrade is on the way. This is a good news. We can see the tempo is slowly uh, getting slow a bit here because the main and natural is a little bit of mind out and needs needs some time to uh, what is it called saturation over here at the five o'clock expansion. I think this is still not enough SCP. He needs a little bit of more, but you can see Rush has a lot of army count 180, 186 supply. Using Radiator on as a scourge, nice. The scourge will get picked off, nice. A couple of virgins will be coming at the 3 plus side. Using Dark Swarm before it dies. Nice Dark Swarm. And action, um. I guess he does not have enough Vesping Gas. Uh, the natural Vesping Gas will be mined out, it will get depleted. So, we can just assume. You're ready. The double irradiate on the two science vessels will come and erase this drone. I don't think action has borrowed. <gasps> Never mind. Action has borrowed upgrade ahead of time. So insane reaction by action. Action save all of his drone. 60 drone versus seven, uh, 59 worker. And the natural oh, did not get uh, erased. Science vessel will get picked up. Using the science vessel from the long distance, you're using your ID, but the medic star blocking the path because of the stupid tree. And now the marine uh, will get picked up. The whole position of the Zergian was very sexy. I would like to see the upgrade. So, this is a 1 one zero upgrade. I don't see the second armory. So, this is going to be just a uh, pure plus one attack upgrade of a. Peace tank and now Sans Missile will get picked up a little bit. 
six times we're still still remaining. And the father, yeah, literally the father is everywhere. Like every time, like if he loses uh, vest, the father, he gets another vest. Uh, the father somewhere, uh, constantly using dark form and attacking everywhere at the same time. And now these uh, three ultralis are inside of a dark form, buying the time as well. One single fire that was a little bit of out of position. Again, we got plagued once again. More factory has been made. So let me see how much of a base is uh, both of the base has. Uh, Tyrant right now has 4 base mining. Only uh, 4 SCB mining at the Dinner Expansion. The Moon Medic Fall constantly moving forward. The Pilot once again. Probably gonna use for the plague on the Defa. Didn't use the plague on the Sanitas, but the Pilot will be if you get taken down. That was really fast. More medics has been made. More tanks should be being made and adding another command center. But I guess he's not ready for that yet. Gonna be constantly going for the pressure button. Once again, the father somehow he gets the father everywhere. The top side the father, bottom side the father. And look at this, I'm pretty sure he will have another defiler. He should have another defiler somewhere, but I guess he doesn't have it. Maybe that was the last defiler that action had. Or maybe I'm lo oh yeah, yeah, here it is. Yeah, this is how insane action is so good at using defiler. Every time when he loses defiler, he already has the defiler out already and have another. Like have enough energy to use spell again. And now uh, these drones are moving to. Uh, I think he clicked to the six o'clock side, I suppose. But uh, we can see, we can see Rush is slowly moving out using science missile ready on every unit and going for the attack and using maybe this terrain to have the siege mode. That's a lot of tanks that he just brought. He just unsieged everything. Rush has a lot of supply count right now. Two hundred supply with almost. Uh, one group of seize tanks, so this is going to be very powerful. This is going to be a very powerful unit. Russia will be attacking the mineral expansion. Only a uh, single three ultra that's still remaining. Oh, this expansion has been taken down. Still not uh, not taking another expansion over here. But these army is somewhat spread, and they're not. Uh, they're fighting against the high ground ultra, so that is not going to be a very good fight for Russia, I suppose. 130 of supply count is stopping Russia's army. This is insane. Look at how strong the Ultralisk from the high ground and now using the double already and then the two, two Ultralisk. Firebat uh, and the Marine Force are just now slowly moving forward. Rush is. Uh, yeah, Rush has a lot of army, uh, a lot of supply count. Action is somehow holding. Holding the expansion really, really well every time. And again, here it is. The father just like surprise, and the father leaving the plague and running away. And he should have another the father everywhere. Like, oh, yeah, look, look. He just used this the father for the combat, and he just got another the father out at the same time. So this is how action is so good after using using the spell unit. And this is a uh, high ground battle, high ground battle. The Ultralis won't be getting killed super fast. And now the Marine Force are getting picked off and getting surrounded. And now it looks like the natural, the uh, rush is natural. It's a little bit of vulnerable, but uh, it is buying time really, really well. It looks like a 2-0 and this is a plus 3 attack of a siege tank. So plus 3 siege tank is definitely really, really strong. Rush has a lot of army. Another mass seize tank being ready over here. Once again, another attack with the one group of army at 12 o'clock, uh, 3 o'clock side. 12 o'clock side uh, being at, adding uh, another expansion over here at 6 o'clock as well. I'm not sure if uh, Rush knows about this expansion. If he knows about this expansion, he should be sending the one group of a marine medic force. But I guess he doesn't have time. He's just going to be moving forward with the one group of the seize tank. And Science Vessel will get me getting picked up. Uh, constantly using the Urati, really really nice in the Defiler, but the, before Defiler gets killed, using two Dark Swarm at the same time. Find the time really really Ooh, he borrowed over here. Okay. 
the power of the Zergling. He's saying once again moving out, but Axon is desperately. Uh, he needs Vespin gas and he also needs more mineral. He doesn't. He has uh, like every single unit everywhere. Like uh, there are a couple of screws and the Zergling everywhere. But slowly uh, adding the sequence. A couple of them reinforced will come to uh, 6 o'clock side, but these siege tank lineup will be just melting Action's army. Once again, Rush is now maxed again, 400 supply count. And I think uh, these defiler was a little bit of out of position because he needs. Oh, uh, yeah, he got another defiler over here. Two defiler using Dark Swarm. Yes, he will be using the Dark Swarm. Units are everywhere pretty much. And once again, the uh, natural is. Not getting uh, secured yet, but will he? Uh, action is action is gonna be losing this expansion. Uh, okay, he will save this at uh, twelve twelve o'clock expansion. But the natural is gonna be the uh, five o'clock natural seven o'clock natural is gonna be uh, taken down easily because of, look at this siege tank. The siege tank line up over here, pretty much abusing the uh, terrain. And whenever Zerg is trying to attack, you can see. These terrain is completely blocking the path that uh, Seas Tank will just free them to be here in the magnetic force. Will be focused on the Defiler maybe? No, no, not fo focused on the Defiler, but the Defiler will be taken down by the Seas Tank because they will, it, got, it just got into the range. So now just gonna be waiting for the um, Dark Swarm to disappear, but at the same time attacking at the 12 o'clock side, the Marine Man, one, one group of the Marine Force will be just steaming in, and now this action, uh, action is going to lose this expansion. Oh, drone just came up, but we will get murdered easily. Oh, uh, and once again, another Dark Swarm trying to kill this uh, Seas Tank, but Seas Tank has plus 3 attack damage. Oh, ooh, Borrow Zergling. At least Borrow Zergling will just completely make this uh, Seas Tank so dumb. More Zergling will be coming. More Seas Tank has been made, and action will be typing GG. He can't stay this game any longer because the 12 o'clock side, a uh, 12 o'clock expansion will be taken down. And action was a little bit poor in the mid, uh, late game over here, the super late game, because he lost all the expansion. So that goes uh, for the victory for Rush. That was an insane comeback by Rush, because Rush drew a lot of army in the beginning, like four Marine and then Steam Pack Rush, and things did not work well. And he also was getting the physics set, but we did not get to any, we did not get to see any uh, better cruiser upgrade. But anyways, but that was a very nice play by Rush. Rush was uh, showing how strong he is in his late game, using the science vessel all the time. That was a very fantastic late game by Rush. And also good defiler play by Action. Uh, I thought Action was going to win the game when he was pushing or and killing a lot of workers at the mineral expansion and 3 o'clock expansion at the same time, but Action... Uh, Action did not have much of an army remaining, and Russia was able to hold. That was a very good hold, even though he lost a lot of SCB. Very good play by both players. And thank you for watching, and if you guys enjoy watching these great games on StarCast TV, please hit the like and subscribe button. We will bring more fantastic game in the future.